Y'all, imagine working hard and being proud to buy a home as beautiful as these homes right here. Oh, look at the flowers. Uh, these residents were super excited. This is in Southeast DC, River East at Grandview Condos, right? Sounds kind of fancy. But then after a couple of years, you see this? Ah, that, mm-hmm. This, literally separating, okay? Separating. Even the windows wasn't putting in correctly. And as usual, if you guys don't see this full story, please go to my YouTube, The Carolina Diamond. Now, these are just some of the residents that actually sued the developer, Staten View LLC, okay? For discrimination, rightly so. Uh, they all have one thing in common. Want to guess? Yes, yes. Now, this developer received over $6 million in subsidy, okay? through this program to build these wonderful condos for these residents. And these residents filed a discrimination suit and of course, of course the builder, the developer filed bankruptcy. They had to leave their own home y'all because their foundation is crazy weak. Like the houses are shifting. They had an engineer to come out and the engineer said that there is imminent danger of the buildings collapsing this has been going on for three years they've been displaced y'all but to make it so bad the district is disagreeing with the engineer they haven't even said that these properties are officially condemned so it's like these these residents these homeowners mind you who work hard to get in these homes are displaced currently they're using rental vouchers they were given but those run out in june now the council did just pass an emergency bill which gives them tax relief they're going to get loan forgiveness and mortgage solutions now loan forgiveness means that the loan that they got they're going to forgive because they work with them through a home purchase assistance program and they're going to reinstate the program so that they can hopefully be able to purchase other homes another home um, but the mortgage is still due so while these homeowners are staying elsewhere they're still having to pay their mortgage here in a place that's in, in inhabitable. Prayers out to these homeowners as well as all of them. I think there are over 42 units in this condo complex. And district, you need to do better and move a little bit faster, please. You, leave me your comments, y'all.